Stay tuned to the end of this video to see a tour of Borton's famous model village. We're in Borton on the Water, and here's the thing about Borton. It is a very popular Cotswold village. I'd say probably in the top two most popular tourist destinations in the Cotswolds. And because of that, I came here probably on my first time I came to the Cotswolds with Ian, but I don't really think we've been back since then. We avoid it because of the crowds. But we're here today at 7 a.m. to try and get some good footage to show you what it's like. This is why Portland on the Water is so well loved. The river windrush that runs through the town and has these beautiful trees just makes it so peaceful. And across the river are several bridges. Let's count them. One. Two. Three, four, this is a pretty low bridge, but the ducks have no problem passing right under it. Five. I didn't realize that Borton on the Water has a Ford in it. And here it is. It's got a little bit too much water in it to drive through this morning, but the ducks are enjoying it. This chap is the Pied Piper of the ducks. He's been throwing bread to them and they're just following him down the river. This is a dental surgery. This chap's gonna need some dental work done after having a knocker through his jaws for decades. Horton on the water, public conveniences, but because we're in the Cotswolds, we have to be fancy and say things in Latin. This phone box and mailbox post box are not the prettiest I've ever seen, but I bet we couldn't even count how many tourists have taken their pictures in front of these because they're in Borton on the water. Next year, 2022, is Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee. But this building, Victoria Hall, which you can see is dated 1897, was built in commemoration of Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee. And this plaque commemorates that, while this plaque commemorates the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II. Chapel Cottage, right next to what is now the Baptist Church with a lovely rose window. The Dial House is a very pretty home. Of course, enhanced by these brilliant magenta peonies, which are glowing in the sunshine this morning. We often find that even in the most touristy villages, if you wander out away from the center of town, you can often find beautiful residential areas with lovely homes and gardens and a bit of Cotswolds peace and serenity. I'd like to be a little bunny living in this warren. This home is beautiful with all the flowers creeping up the side of it. But then what's really amazing is the drive next to it. It's lined with pink roses on either side all the way down. In life, you gotta stop and smell the roses. And for me, stop by the magenta roses to snap a quick photo for the gram. 
I grew up on Willow Lane and have a soft spot for willow trees. This is a really peaceful spot here before the first bridge where you can just sit and listen to the rushing water under this willow tree and you don't even hear the traffic or the tourists bustling through Borton on the water behind you. This is Borton at 8 a.m. when the ducks are hanging out by the river. In three hours time, the ducks will be replaced by maybe a hundred tourists in the same spot. We don't know anything about this church here in Borton on the Water, but we're going to explore. Ian's assessment is that the nave is Gothic and the rest is more modern. You know I love posing next to a devil's door. In the nave, the ceiling has beautiful carvings on it. It's a bit dark, probably won't show up. And the screen was lovely. Ian is guessing this might be a Victorian restoration church. But it does have some nice stained glass windows and it does have all this area that's been a modern refurbishment. Here's a video of St. Peter holding the keys. Okay, that was hilarious. Ian loves gardens and gardening so much. So every time we walk by someplace and there's a gardener who's weeding or updating the plantings, he always stops and takes a minute to compliment them. And so he did that with this chap. And the guy was really friendly and started telling us about how he has lived in Borton all his life. So I just had to get him on camera for a couple seconds if he gave me permission, which shockingly he did. So this chap is born and raised in Borton. So tell me how it's changed. Uh, well, mainly uh, visitors say no more. Yeah. But uh, to be honest, we used to get a lot of visitors, but people are cashing in now on um, eateries everywhere. Mm. Nothing really for the locals. Uh, um, and coal parks everywhere. If you've got uh, a spare field, yeah, you open it up for car parking. Right, because because it's overrun with people, coaches and cars, and there's no place to park. Um, uh, over the bank holiday, we had ten thousand cars here. Whoa! I mean, you double that up with people. Yeah, it's horrendous, isn't it? Okay, so while you've been talking to me, you weren't able to finish your job, so Ian's no. helping you out with pulling some weeds. I hope he's not pulling out any plants. That's what I would do, because no, I, I wouldn't know the difference. No, he's doing a grand job. In <laughs> fact, I might take him on. <laughs> he, he, can be, he can be your apprentice, whose job is to pull all the weeds. I, I have pulled many, many weeds in my life. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I know you have to be careful to make sure you get the roots. Uh, Good, you've uh, picked a flower there, haven't you? Uh, Oh, yeah. yeah, me. He meant oh, me. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm a magenta flower, you silly rabbit. Thank you so much no for talking to us. Gold. Have a wonderful day. You know you're in a tourist hotspot when there's an Edinburgh woolen mill. Ooh, the Victorian Christmas shop sounds like a fun place to spend some money. Borton is full of lovely little shops and tea rooms, like this one, named Green and Pleasant. Sounds very enjoyable. Not only are these tea rooms very pretty, but they also have a great name. I wouldn't mind a cream tea for five pounds. I'll tell you what I would not get, chili con carne. I have a policy against ordering chili when it's spelled with two L's and when I'm not in Texas. This place is called the Chip Shed, but it doesn't look much like a shed to me. If it weren't 8 a.m., I would probably have stopped in for some chips. The Cornish Bakery is a place that a couple years ago I would have been too snobbish to try. But after my scone taste testing in Cornwall, I now view it quite differently. Check out my Battle of the Scones video in the link above or below for details. The bakery on the water is where my otter half wants to have breakfast this morning. Be 
these croissants look amazing with melted cheese and mushrooms on them. And then the pasties and sausage rolls, I'm sure are very tasty as well. And then I've got artisan bread in the back. We're about to eat our breakfast from the bakery. And these ducks have gathered at our feet because they can smell baked goods. Oh, and some pigeons and crows as well. And from the artisan bakery, we got a chocolate almond croissant. And this is a piece of that almond petal cake that has blueberries in it. And this is a Chelsea bun. These birds are now right at our feet. They figured we'd look like messy people that would drop crumbs. If you don't fancy eating in a tea room and you're looking for a pub, locals would probably recommend the Mouse Trap Inn, which is just outside the town center. There are a number of popular attractions in Borden, providing lots to see and do and spend your money on if you spend a day in this village. Birdland is one of the popular attractions near Borton because it is home to over 600 bird species. Depending on your interest, there's all kinds of things in Borton, including a Cotswold Motoring Museum. One of the key attractions at the Motoring Museum is Brum. And if you're British, you might know who that is. There's also a model railway. It's currently closed due to COVID restrictions, but probably by the time I publish this video, it'll be open. Beyond the river and the bridges, the other thing in my mind that makes Borton so unique among the Cotswold villages is that it has its own model village, a miniature replica of itself. And this attraction is fun for young and old to visit. <laughs> Here's the replica of the green and pleasant tea rooms I showed you earlier. All the buildings are a replica of one ninth their actual size, and even the bridges are replicated. There's the water wheel. I love this wee house with the ivy crawling up it. And here's the model village Edinburgh woolen mill and the small talk tea room that I showed you earlier. Some parishioners had a service with lots of life-size money. post office and the Victorian Christmas shop that we saw earlier. And here is the bakery where Ian bought the pastries for breakfast this morning. This is the old new inn, which is where we are now. And behind it is the model village. And inside the model village is another model village with another model village inside it. I hope you enjoyed this excursion to Borton on the Water. Stay tuned for many, many more videos of other gorgeous villages and towns in the Cotswolds. Thanks so much for watching and do something good in the world today.